everyone, my name is Irindil, Mathis Irindil, and welcome to round two of my Sims 2 playthrough of Crentifold, my custom neighborhood. We've made it through a round, and I'm really excited about that. So, that means at the start of this round, we're going to be starting right over, if I go to the correct little screen here, with the Kolrihu family on 380 Working Street, and I'll give a little bit of an introduction to you guys once we get in there. Maybe maybe I'll do this for each family at each round. I don't know. All right, here we are in the Kolrihu family. Uh, it looks like Ophelia was naked for some reason. I'm imagining a woohoo probably occurred. Yep, that's what they're thinking about. But let's go ahead and just give a, a quick little look at the family. First off, we have Price Kolrihu. He is a knowledge sim and is a Virgo. He's incredibly shy. Price is currently 43 years old. He is a piano tuner, even though he really kind of wants a job in the journalism career, apparently. Uh, how did that happen? I don't know what's going on. I'm probably going to get rid of that. Don't remember. It's been a while since I played this game <laughs> or played this family, so I'm going to look over and just have him help Remy here with his work. Now, he is married to Ophelia. Here, Ophelia. Cole Rehu. And Cole Rehu, or, and Ophelia here is a popularity sim who is unemployed, but she wants to get a job in athletics. And she is a Gemini and is kind of serious and kind of grouchy, but is very outgoing and athletic, or active, rather. They have two children. Their oldest is little Quella here, who is also a Gemini, and is probably going to be a popularity sim like your mother. Probably. Um, and she's just a kid, <laughs> so there's not much else going on with her. Then her younger brother, little Remy here, is a Cancer, which means he'll probably end up as a knowledge sim like his father. But I don't know. We have a little bit of time left before we figure that out. But, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell the ages of everybody because I'm a dunce. Uh, we have Ophelia is 39. Quella is 10 years old. And Remy is, I believe, 6. Those ages should be correct if I changed them from the last time we played. But, like I said, it has been a while. So the kids are going to go off to school. So let's focus on the adults real quick. We're going to go ahead and see if there is a job available for Ophelia. Uh, we really don't need a job because um, Price is making some money. He does want he does need a mechanical skill point, so we might study that a little bit. But, yeah. Also, we do have bills. 300, well, you know what? It might be a good idea for Ophelia to get a job. And there is nothing in the newspaper for Ophelia, and that's fine. I think Price probably goes to work today. He does. He goes in at 10 o'clock, or probably as soon as uh, time ticks over here. Where is their bathroom? It's been so long since I played this game. Um, so go ahead and get rid of... Okay, you can give your husband a smooch if he's going to get up off the, the couch. Yeah, okay, that works. Go ahead, give him a kiss, because he's going to leave for work here in a second. Um, and then Ophelia, you could probably get rid of the newspaper, because it's just going to sit there otherwise. And then Price, go ahead and get ready for work into your clothes. And you will not get a promotion, obviously, because we don't have that mechanical point. But when you get home, maybe we can focus on that. Now, Ophelia... Hmm. Ophelia wants to become best friends with Imana. Uh, Imana Jeldale, I think is what her... Yeah, I'm on a Jill Dale. She wants to become friends with her, or best friends with her. She's already friends. Maybe we'll give her a call. I don't think Alana will be at work, but who knows? I can't remember people's jobs. And she was able to talk to her. I don't know if they'll become best friends, but they're definitely gonna... Oh, there we go. So now Ophelia and Imana are best friends, which is great. Uh, she wants to have five best friends now. Gonna have to work on that a bit. Uh, I don't know who she can pro become friends with. Um, maybe Franklin Yolesley? Maybe Jorge Geldale. Maybe Harper. Might be dangerous, but it's possible. But yeah, that's what she wants. And she also wants to meet a new person. I think what I'll do is have Ophelia just get ready for work. Or not for work, but just uh, go hang out. Maybe at a community lot. 
We'll just have to make sure we're back before 3 o'clock. I don't think there's too big of an issue if you're not home before 3 when the kids get home, but I think there is a chance that bad stuff will happen, I think. All right, and we are at the community lot. Everything looks like it's fine. Oh, there, look, there's Amana. There's your best friend, Amana. You can probably go say hi to her. Uh, just tell her a joke real quick. Why not? And then we'll see who else is here and who you can, like, maybe become... Imana, you gotta stop. We're trying to become friends with you. <laughs> or I'm trying to talk to you, at least. We're already best friends. Uh, who is that? I think that's, uh... What's his name? Ran or that's Orlando. That's not Randy. That's Orlando. Uh, that's not who I want you to meet, probably. Now, <laughs> Ophelia has the clothing that, uh, Imana used to wear, just a different color, but there is one more person out here that has the exact same clothing that, uh, Imana used to have. Oh, and there's Margarita Kenawa. Why don't you go ahead and greet Margarita real quick? She could definitely become a friend. Oh, there's Alvin. Alright, so go ahead and greet Margarita. And, oh, you already knew her. Great. Oh, you're going to talk to Dennis now. Did you know Dennis? You did not. So Dennis was the new person for her. She now wants, okay. Oh, you're going to want to talk to, of course, you're going to talk to your best friend. Uh, why don't you go ahead and joke around with Dennis a little bit? He could become a new friend for you. You guys have chemistry, really good chemistry. You have more f chemistry with, uh, <laughs> with Dennis than you do your own husband. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. It might just mean that you can become really good friends. So we'll just have you hang out for a while. Just have to make sure you're back home before 3 o'clock. Alright, it's about 1.40 here. Uh, we should probably go ahead and head home. That way we are home in time for the kiddos to get home. And, yeah, I guess you may, you met Dennis. That's something that happened today. You still do want to have a party, which is definitely something we could do. Maybe invite Dennis over invite Imana over. I don't know if we'll invite other members of Imana's family over. Not that I even know that. Yeah, I do know Harper. Uh, or she does know Harper. So, we'll see what happens with that. And Ophelia is home. Apparently it was hailing, but now it's not, so I don't know why she still has this one. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we could throw a party. Just... I, I've been throwing a lot of parties lately, and it's because of all the... Uh, uh, popularity sims I have, I guess. Actually, Ophelia... No, hold on. Let's throw a sports party, because you're, uh... I don't even know what sports parties are. I've not figured them out yet. But, yeah, your, uh, hobby is sports. You're really into sports, even though you have no enthusiasm for it. But this could be cool. Uh, let's invite Imana and Jill Dale, and that's it. Uh, let's invite your new acquaintance, uh, Dennis... And maybe Franklin and Greta Yolosley. Just so we can have people come over. And you can just have a sports party. So let's go ahead and turn on the TV. Yeah, not everybody's going to come up, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. Um, we'll change the TV to sports. And then we'll just get some... Uh, We'll just make a group meal of gelatin. We'll just get them out of the car. Did you change the channel? All right. Who is all here? It looks like the only person that didn't show up is Greta, I think. So let's go ahead and just serve this gelatin, and then we can watch some sports. Maybe toss a ball around and things like that. It is 3 o'clock now, so the kids are here. Oh, there's Lois Kennel. So yeah, come on, everybody. Get your jelly. Quilla, go ahead and put your homework down somewhere that's not in the way. Um, you ignored exactly what I told you to do or not do. Great. 100% wonderful. Uh, I think this is actually Quilla's room over here, isn't it? Yeah, because I think uh, Remy's room was over here before. I don't actually remember. That's fine. Uh, but Quilla, you might want to watch some TV, get your fun up, and that way you can do your homework. Franklin is not having a good time, apparently. Uh, and then Remy, you can go ahead and use the bathroom and then join your sister. Uh, go ahead and sh switch this back to uh, sports. That's what it's supposed to be anyways. All right. You talk to Dennis. Why don't you guys play toss the football around? 
this is a sports party. That's what we're doing. I guess we're gonna watch the sports game. It's probably like, what is this, Madden? Madden's on EA, right? This is Madden. I don't know sports games. I don't play sports games. I feel it. You're so no, I feel it. You're supposed to be throwing a ball around. Play football. All right, so we're having a sport. Oh. <laughs> Probably something amazing to walk home in on, isn't it, Price? All right, uh, Price, what do you want to do? You want to gain a skill point? Wonderful. Uh, give Quilla a hug. She was waiting for you to get home. Now I want you to study mechanical. Remy, what are you doing? Who? Oh, I guess somebody is calling us. Yeah, go ahead and give her. Uh, talk to Margarita, why don't you? You've been playing sports long enough, I guess. Did you gain any enthusiasm for that? Nope, that's fine. I can't actually see how good the party is doing. You guys can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, I study that. Remy, why don't you, again, watch some TV, please. <laughs> Just watch some TV. Get your fun up. So that way you can study your homework. Uh, and then, Quella, go ahead and do your own homework. Why not? I guess you could change it to the dance station. Maybe you aren't into uh, sports like your mother is. That's fine. Uh, okay, there might be an issue here. Okay, these guys are not getting along. That's fine. Tomorrow, though, during this round, Quella is going to become a teen. I actually... Okay. Uh, affiliate, say goodbye to probably Franklin. Just say goodbye to Franklin, please. I'm going to say goodbye to Franklin because uh, Jorge has his sister here and it might be more rude to tell him to leave and not his sister. Even though Amana is taking a bath in our house, weirdly enough. Uh, you, or Remy, you do have your fun up enough and your father did get a point. So why don't you ask your father when this is done to, to teach you how to uh, how to do your homework properly. I love, like, little things like this, having them feel like an actual family. Especially when they... <laughs> these two are just such father and son. They're so similar. They wear similar clothes. They have similar personalities. I wonder if he ha if they have the same... I wonder if they have the same hobby. Because we haven't figured out what uh, Price and Remy's pers or hobbies are yet. Apparently, Ophelia's is music and dance, so that's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, just slam the belt on the floor, then give it a hug. Yeah, that's 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 great, sweetie. <laughs> Wonderful. Amazing. She wants a dog. She wants to become friends with Chloe, but I think that might be more important. Anybody else want a dog or a pet? Not yet, but that might be something we look into in the future. But yeah, we can definitely get you a skill point. Oh, I didn't want to actually exit all that. But it doesn't matter. You learned how to do that. Uh, now, did we get... I'm going to have Price walk to a community lot real quick. Because he wants to buy new clothes. And I figure we could buy some new clothes for uh, Quella. If we didn't already, we might have done that... Actually, hold on. Let's wait for the party to end before that ends. Uh... Just tell a joke to Amada real quick, so not everybody feels left out. Because we have like six minutes left of the party. Does that say disaster? It's like right underneath my timer. So I don't actually know what that says. What did we get? We had a bud party. Wonderful. It, I think it said disaster. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's have uh, Price go to the... No, no, no. I meant for Price to go... To the community a lot. Thank you. Ophelia, I want you to uh, probably clean up the mess. Just clean up after the party. Quilla, where are you? No. Okay, yeah. Congratulate your daughter for, what, did she get an A plus or something? Yeah, it looks like it. Cool. Uh, why is Ophelia going? I told... No, go home. I told Price to go. I'm 100% certain... Well, I'll be able to be told wrong through the footage, but I told 
price to go to the lot. All right, apparently Ophelia's gonna be gone for an hour. I don't know how she was gone that long, but apparently she is, that's fine. <sighs> go ahead and swing your daughter around, Price. Or no, you're not even doing that, you're just dancing on the feet. That's really cute. That's another really cute animation that I love. Yeah, that's really cute. Oh, if we can get that. There, look at that. Might be a thumbnail, might not be. Who knows? I'm just waiting for Ophelia to get home. All right, Ophelia should be home. Is everybody else in bed? No. Uh, Remy, I'm going to need you to go to bed, buddy. You don't need to be playing with your toy car. Oh, you're putting it away? I guess you are fairly neat. Oh, that's nice to have a kid that put, cleans up after himself. But now, Price, I'm going to have you to... You, Price, walk to a community lot. Just you. Walk to the styles. Alrighty. And we are here. Now we can go ahead and buy some everyday clothes for uh, Quella. I am going to look and see, because if there are already teen girl clothes in this, if it says we bought it, that means we have already bought clothes for Quella. Which means this entire thing was just me being dumb. <laughs> Which is part of it anyways, but you know. Alright. Uh, what would be good for Quella? Because she's probably going to be a popularity sim. Actually, that this might look really good with her red hair. So that's what we're going to get. Even if we've already bought clothes for her, we're going to buy this for Quella. Because I think that actually is going to look really good with her red hair. Because she has, I think she has a father's skin tone and red hair. Which I know she has red hair because the entire Cole Rehu family has uh, red hair. But that's fine. All right, now Ophelia, everything's cleaned up. Go ahead and use the bathroom. Maybe also clean the bathtub while you're at it. I don't know, should you use the bathtub? Yeah, you can do that when you wake up, but at least clean it before you go to bed. That would be great. And then, yeah, just go to bed. Your husband will be home in about half an hour-ish, three quarters of an hour. So my game just lagged, and it's because there's a werewolf out here. And... Price, I'm going to have Price greet Bailey. Um, and the reason why I'm going to have Price greet Bailey is because, one, he's a knowledge sim. He'll probably be pretty happy about this. And two, knowledge sims like to become werewolves later on, or at some point. I don't know if Price will want to become a werewolf. Uh... Oh, don't yell at it. But I have never actually played the game as a werewolf. I've said this in another video. I think it was in my River Blossom video. But I would love to be able to play as a werewolf at least once. Play as all the occult sims as once. Uh, really, all I've played with prior to doing this YouTube channel was uh, witches and vampires. Uh, hate playing as vampires. Um, but... Werewolf is definitely something I've never played as, and it's going to be cool if I can get one of my Sims in any of my series, either my Strange Town, my River Blossom, or my Crented Fold. If I can get any of my Sims to play a be a werewolf, that'd be fantastic. But now it is like 1 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to have Price... Well, Bailey left anyways. So I'm going to have Price get ready for bed, because he does have to work tomorrow. <laughs> he doesn't have to be there till 10, so that's good that he can stay up a little bit later. But yeah, after he goes to... Uh, I think the bed is glitched again. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Adjust. Bed ownership. Clear all. What is going on? Something is going weird where I cannot click on... This bed. That is so weird. All right, it is six or five thirty. It's gonna be six here in a little bit. Uh, price. See, price. I can interact with the bed here. It's a. Ver I think it's glitched. I'm gonna to have to fix it in some way because this normally, if they they can't, uh, where's your bed? You don't have a bed. Uh, this normally would clear it, and then they'd be able to sleep in the bed. But no, it's very strange. 
Um, she could sleep on the couch. Like, there will be, like, an automatic um, ability for them to actually go and sleep on the couch, which is fine. They can do that, and it would be better than them napping. But it's just, it's still very just weird. But Quella is awake now. She can go ahead and, she can go ahead and take a bubble bath. That's great. Get ready for not going to school, because it's not school. She did not have school today. That's fine. Uh, she wants to do her homework, but it looks like she doesn't have any homework because she finished it. Remy, on the other hand, does have homework, and he wants to finish it. So we'll go ahead and have him do that. Go ahead and wake up Price and maybe put Ophelia back to bed if it'll let her sleep in that bed. Oh my gosh. Uh, change, that, change this channel to, like, the Yummy channel or something. Because that's so loud. I have, like, the, the volume turned all the way down on everything. <laughs> but still, <laughs> everything is so loud. I don't know how, how it's picking up on the recording, but in my ears, it's very loud. And it's time for Price to go to work, even though he's already getting food out to go and cook. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, we have plenty of food in the fridge for leftovers, but yeah, go ahead and just cook that up. Ophelia, just so it doesn't go to waste. And, well, uh, anybody else want a dog or any pet sort of thing? Nope, not yet. So we're not going to get a pet for Ophelia. That's fine. Wait, did I accidentally... Okay, she is cooking it. Once it's done, I'm going to have Ophelia look for a job to see if she can get her athletic career. So Quella just... Uh, no, not adventure. Go ahead and just... Criminal. Nope, there's no jobs today. Go ahead and eat this... Why can't you eat this one? There you go. Go ahead and eat that. So go ahead and actually, maybe, hmm. Go ahead and go back to bed, Ophelia, that's fine. Price finishes uh, tuning a piano to perfection when his cell phone rings. The SimCity Concert Hall is in need of an expert piano tuner to tweak their classic grand piano f uh, for the con concert of the world-renowned tenor, Arito Mipal Mipalotti. As always, special considerations must be taken into account. Mipalotti demands the piano be improperly tuned to make his voice sound better in comparison. This task is simple enough for Price, but he could damage his reputation in the long run. Should Price tune away, or is it the time to, to say... Uh, Rivederci. Let's go ahead and tune the piano. And... The reviews aren't fine, and Price's career suffers, and he is fired! Oh no! Did we at least get paid? Please tell me we got some money. Oh no. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, we didn't even get money. Alright. I know you want to hug your father. Uh, go ahead and give him a hug. Price is just not happy right now. No, he's not in the mood, sweetie. It's okay. Uh, Price, get some leftovers. Quella, clean up. Your dad is not in a good mood, unfortunately. Very bad day for your father. All right, Quella is going to take a bath. Uh, she is going to age up here in a little bit, so we'll get to see what she looks like as a, as a teen with her new clothing. Uh, we'll go ahead and wake up Ophelia. Price, why don't you go ahead and greet Margarita? Maybe she can come inside. We are not going to have a party because uh, Quilla doesn't actually know anybody to invite. Like, I know at one point I said that I would like, um... That's worrying. She knows Charlotte Otamus. Hmm. I believe Charlotte Otamus is dead. <laughs> That or maybe she's in the adoption pool. That might be the case, is that Charlotte is in the adoption pool. Either way, that's worrying. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's the case. We'll see. Anyways, uh, Price looks like he's making some food for the, for the birthday. It is... Not going to be a party because she doesn't know anybody that I want to invite over. At one point I said that I was okay with them... Um, Socializing with like townies and stuff. I have changed my mind a little bit. I would rather them 
uh, hang out with fr with Sims that I have created. Uh, so I have thought about making like specific townies, or like they wouldn't really be towny townies. I would just put them in. What? Okay, Quilla just like sat down in the chair. <laughs> Get the mac and cheese. It's gonna be burnt mac and cheese for Quilla's birthday. That's fine. Um, but I'm thinking about making a family and just sitting them in a household and calling them the townies, if you know what I mean by that. Um, and it's like banning all townies from approaching. I could kill off all the actual townies. That might make things easier so I can actually turn the new townies into actual townies, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, okay. And it is time. Here we go. And there we are. Look at that. All right, so Quella is a teenager. And I believe I said I was going to give her the popularity aspiration. She's into dudes with... Or people with hats. I don't know if they're dudes. She's into artistic people, and she hates full face makeup. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to do any of these because I'm not really going to be focusing on pre-made townies. But yeah, there we go. Now, I don't like those outfits on teenagers at all. There's a train coming, so I'm going to have to say this quick. I'm going to try to find a little thing for the hair to pick clothes out of real quick, and then we'll get rid of that. All right, the train is gone, thankfully. So let's go ahead and have Quilla hang out with her brother. That's cute and all. I love that, but go put some decent clothes on because I hate those fishnets. I know that it's it's something from the past, from like the uh, 2000s, but I just hate them on teens. They're just very weird. So go ahead and we'll get you a new outfit. Here we go. I think that looks cool. I think that really fits for... Well, it's going to be winter so but you know what? I don't care. It's very cool. I'm just going to delete this now because we don't need it. Eventually, they'll be able to get an actual... An actual... Um, dresser. But, you know, for now, that's fine. Alrighty. It's getting pretty late. Um... Ophelia is fine on energy, I guess. I can have her nap if need be. I'll probably have Price sleep in the bed. And then if Ophelia can sleep with him, I'll have that. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, Quella, I need you to take a bath. Go ahead and take a bath, Quella. Ophelia, we're going to try and see if we can get you to sleep in the bed. Um, nope, it's glitched. All right, so you'll be fine for the night. I might have you nap every once in a while. But then once your husband goes to work, you can sleep in the bed. All right, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. Going to go ahead and wake everybody up. And the kids don't have school or anything like that, but uh, I th I'm hoping... Oh, wait, no, Price does not have work in the morning because he got fired. I forgot. Wonderful. Um, and it looks like Quella does not want to get a job, unfortunately. And I need to fix her age. I am so bad at fixing the ages. I should probably just get the mod that actually sets their age. I'm just afraid of it. <laughs> That's probably stupid that I'm afraid of it, but I'm afraid of it. Uh, but that is the end of this round, guys. I hope you, or not this round, but this episode. We have one more video with the Korihus, and then we will move on to the next family. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I cannot wait until I get back here to the Korihus and see what adventures Quella can go on. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking about making some quote-unquote townies to put in the town, some teens and stuff for uh, Quella to meet, but I don't know when or if I'm going to do it. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Ooh, ominous thunder. Hello everyone, Irindil here. Thank you so much for watching my video. Now, if you would like to contribute to my channel more or help me out in any way possible, 
I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. However, what I am is a storyteller. I have written a novel here. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. If you enjoy fantasy or young adult novels like uh, Harry Potter or Hunger Games or Divergent or those sorts of things, that's mostly what I write, although I am kind of deviating a little bit in my other stories. At the moment, this is the only book that I have published, Immortal Colors. It is a story about five clans living on an island who have to discover the secrets that uh, the island holds. I do hope to have more stories published uh, relatively soon. Uh, relatively means hopefully in the next three years. But uh, again, thank you for watching. If you want to check out my book, that's great. If not, you know, the best that you can do is just like and comment, subscribe. That helps out so much too. Again, thanks a lot.